I'm gonna run you through how to set up catalog ads for your business on Meta. As my agency is already running catalog ads for some of the businesses that we manage, I will show you the exact process we take to set up new clients' accounts so you could do it for yourself. First, we're gonna go to the Facebook Business Center. We will then go to the Commerce Manager. We will then sync our products with whatever platform we are using. We will then create sets inside Commerce Manager. And finally, we will create the ads inside Ads Manager. So inside Commerce Manager right here, we get brought to Commerce Accounts and Catalogs, obviously, we're inside a client's account right now. So we already have all this stuff connected, but I'm gonna run you through how we would connect his account again if we had to. Simply, we would just go to add account right here and click on this. And then once you've added your account, we would go to catalogs and add a catalog. So let me run you through how to actually add a catalog. So we're gonna do e-commerce, obviously click on e-commerce, online products. So we can now do upload product info. So we would now do a CSV if we had a CSV, or we could do connect a partner platform. And if you use Shopify or any big commerce platforms, I would recommend just connecting your Shopify or website to Facebook itself. It's way easier uh, than doing the CSV. Obviously we're using Shopify for this client's account. So we would just click connect a partner platform and then we would choose the platform that we're going to connect to. So in our case, it would be Shopify and then we would go to go to Shopify and set it up from there. We've already done it. It's pretty simple from this point forward. So I'll let you guys take care of that, but we're now gonna go back into Commerce Manager where, where we originally were. So back in Commerce Manager, once you've actually connected your catalog, you will see you know your Shopify product catalog as we do right here. We're gonna click on that and that will actually take us to the Commerce Manager where you'll see all of your products as well as your sales and your actual sets. As you can see, we now have our store items inside our catalog inside of Meta and we're not gonna go into sets where we can actually create a set. Obviously we already have sets created. You would just go up here to the top right, click create set, and then you would do manually select items or use filters based on what items have already added. So by clicking create set, we would click manually select items and we would select all items that we want to put into a set. So let's say we had t-shirts, hats, socks, whatever it is, we would click on all those and then name that ad set t-shirts, new drops. We would then click create down here in the bottom right but we're not gonna do that since we already have all of our sets made. So now going into Ads Manager here by clicking on the three bars right here and clicking on Ads Manager since we're already in Commerce Manager, we are now going to set up a new campaign. So we're gonna click Create, we're gonna do Sales, we're gonna click Continue. We would then click Manual Sales Campaign. We would then name this campaign whatever we want. So in my case, I'm just gonna do LK, which is my initials. And then I would then do the company that I am advertising for and the campaign objective. So it would just be LK, company name sales but down here in campaign details you're going to see buying type auction and campaign objective sales right underneath that you will see use catalog now you're going to want to make sure you have this on if you don't have this on it will not use a catalog at all and you will need to make sure that you actually have this in the campaign not in the ad level so we're going to click on right here that will make sure we're only using catalog ads in our ads and we're not going to be able to actually post any ads that aren't catalog ads from our store inside this campaign now you could turn on advantage campaign budget that would just make sure that you know you have your campaign budget set to a daily amount we're not going to do that since we're not going to actually be running this campaign this is just a test campaign to show you guys now inside the ad set we're going to just going to leave that name right there in the purchase event make sure that's on purchase now right here for the product set we're going to choose which product we actually want to choose. So obviously we have multiple right here. I'm about to blur it out with all the IDs and the sets that we made back in the commerce manager that will actually pop up right here. If you had t-shirts, socks, whatever it is, it will pop up right here and you can click on it. And then now when you go into the ad level, it will automatically only advertise the t-shirts, socks, or whatever you chose right here. For budget and schedule, we're just going to leave that no, that's fine, it'll run automatically. For audience type, uh, this is really cool. You guys should do find pr uh, prospective customers or you could do retarget ads for people who've already interacted with our products uh, on and off Facebook, so that's pretty cool. But if you don't wanna run retarget ads, I would just recommend doing the find prospective customers even if they haven't interacted with your business. Now for audience controls, we're just gonna do leave that automatic since Facebook's targeting is really good. And for Advantage Plus audience, you can either leave this on, you can leave this off. Sometimes I like to just switch to original audience options because Advantage Plus is kind of still in a little bit of a testing. We're actually going to leave that on because it's been working pretty well for us. Now for placements, we're just going to leave this how it is, Advantage Plus placements, because uh, Facebook will actually find the best place uh, where to place these catalog ads, and they do pretty good with actually placing them. Sometimes they get messed up a little bit, which we've seen with just posting regular ads. But especially with catalog ads, they will probably 99% get it right since they're not going to stretch the image. They already know what the image is like, and they already have the product photo. We would now click Next, 
and then we're now at the ad level. As you can see here, we would now choose our Facebook page and our Instagram account. But right here, this is where it's really gonna matter. We can either do single image or video. So obviously we chose the new arrivals and we can now do single image, which would be right here. And we would only do one image from the new arrivals. Or we could do carousel that would pop up with multiple products from our new arrivals. I recommend doing the carousel just because the carousel actually allows them to see multiple products uh, and not just give them one single image. Now obviously here for the creative options, we have the option to do a single image for each card in our catalog or a slideshow, which is just a looping video for each card. And we'll automatically swipe for the people that are seeing the ad. We're just gonna leave it as single image for now and we're not gonna do slideshow. You could actually split test that yourself, but we're gonna leave it at single image for now. This is where you can now write a primary text for your ad. If you already have a primary text to go, you would just copy and paste that in there. And you could also do a website URL just to actually send people to your website and also the shop. But we've actually been finding that uh, adding our website URL and the shop actually works really well. And we've been getting a lot of purchases with both. But this is where we can actually choose the primary destination for our customers. So we could do use settings from catalog, or we could do the actual app or the website, just so they're sticking on Instagram or Facebook, or we're pushing them to our actual website. And obviously down here in tracking, we're gonna click on web events to make sure that we're tracking those web events. And then we would also add in our URL parameters if we're tracking with like triple whale or for example, Hyros. So we went over actually how to connect our website to our commerce manager and then actually how to create a set of products inside commerce manager then how to run those catalog ads inside your facebook ads manager if you thought this video helped give it a thumbs up and subscribe i'm dropping more facebook content all the time so make sure you stick around